I wanted to talk to you about my May favorites. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do one in April. Um, so this May favorites does kind of cover my April favorites as well. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the Real Techniques, um, their version of the Beauty Blender. I think it's just called the Real Techniques Splunge or Complexion Splunge. Sponge. Um, I can't remember the actual name, but I love this thing. I have not use the actual beauty blender. I've used several knockoffs when they first came out um, a couple years ago and they were really, really bad. And um, I've seen a lot of people use this and like Nikki Tutorials uses it and she loves it. And if she loves it, it's gotta be pretty good. So I bought it and I really, really love it. It really helps to um, really do a very even application and make sure that you're not using too much product and because you use it when it's wet it won't soak up too much product yes sometimes some gets on there but um, the fact that it's wet helps you have a flawless look and it keeps from soaking up um, too much of the product that you're using and it actually works great after you've done your foundation when you need to use like a loose powder it works really well for that too. I saw Candy Johnson do that and the first couple times I saw her do that I was like it seems weird for, for me to me for some reason it seemed weird to use a sponge to put on um, powder everywhere but it actually works really really well. It kind of makes the foundation and the powder um, just blend together really well. I don't know I can't explain it but it's only six dollars as opposed to the Beauty Blender which is twenty dollars so it's a fantastic price. Um, give it a try. If you've been thinking of trying the Beauty Blender, maybe try this one first. Um, I really love it. So that is one of my absolute favorites ever since I bought it. My next favorite is my MAC blush. This one is Margin. My sister bought this for me a year and a month ago um, for my birthday and I have used it almost every single day and I hit pan just a little a couple months ago, um, but this has lasted me quite some time, especially for using it every day. I do have it on my cheeks now, although I did blend it um, with another matte um, blush. This has a shimmer in it. It's technically a frost blush, but I really love it because it gives, it's very soft, but you can build it up if you want to, and it gives a little bit, because of the frost, a little bit of like a healthy glow. I do have highlighter on my um, powder highlighter on my cheeks as well, but this on its own gives you a very like healthy glow and it's really beautiful So I really love this The next thing that I wanted to talk about was the NYX contour palette. It's a highlight and contour palette The top four are highlights the bottom four are contours and I really love this. It's fantastic It's very pigment pigmented. It's a great price. I think it was only like $24 $25 um, The highlights are fantastic as well. You can use any of them for your eyes. Um, they're just that good. Um, I love it. Let me know if you guys have any questions on that. The next thing I keep rushing through, I don't know why, um, is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in Taupe. I bought this. I showed you guys this in a haul a couple months ago and I just love it so much. She's amazing. Her products are amazing. I do prefer the Brow Wiz Pencil over their um, Dip Brow Pomade. Um, but this, yeah, it's my favorite. I love it. I do want to try though, I've heard that the NYX brow pencils are very good and very similar. So I will, once I need a new one, I will try that and kind of give you a comparison if you want. But um, this is my favorite brow pencil I've ever used. I also wanted to talk about these Real Techniques brushes. I got them in like a little travel pack. Um, it came with Maybe about five brushes all for the eyes and it came in like a little travel case I guess you would say and this one is called the deluxe crease brush and I use it just for that for applying um, color into my crease especially if you don't need it to be focused in a small area it's just you know a bigger area um, I use it today and it just works so well it's very soft it blends things very nicely um, so I really, really love this one. And then this one is the Base Shadow Brush. Um, I actually use this in my crease the most and on my under eye area. So um, because it's pointed, I don't know if you can see that on the tip, it is pointed. So it really helps you to have a lot more control and you can really get into that crease or like outer V area 
and really just work that color in there. And then also, um, it's really great for using shadow on your um, bottom lash, like blend, blending it out. So I really, really love these. Um, I think the kit, um, I want to say it was like 15 or 17 dollars. I could be totally wrong. I bought this months ago, but I bought it when it was um, buy one, get one half off. So I got this kit, the eye kit, and then I got their face kit one, which also comes with a little travel case. Um, and I love all the brushes, but these I'm just loving a ton right now. So go give these a try if you want. I do not believe these are sold separately. Actually, I think the crease brushes, this one, might be sold separately. And a lot of people I've seen use this to apply their, um, like their paint pot onto their eye for their eye primer. And I would love to do that, but because this is my only one, I don't want to, I would like to have a separate one just for the paint pot and then for um, my shadows. So um, I'll have to get this one separately, which I do want to do. And then I really wanted to talk about this. So I don't know if a lot of you have heard of this before, but this is um, Neil Yard's Remedies. It's NYR is what it's called. And it's a company that is based out of London, I believe. I know it's in England somewhere. I'm not sure if it's actually London. But um, they make all natural organic products, um, which I love. And my friend is a representative for them. And I remember when it was literally like a week before I was gonna have my son. And um, I remember that they had this rose water toner. And I love the smell of rose water. It's a very calming, relaxing scent to me. It reminds me of my grandmother. And she used to actually have blue, this is plastic, but, but she used to have blue glass bottles with rose water in her bathroom, um, you know, on display. And I would open them up and smell them because it smelled so good. It just reminds me of her. So I'd asked her if she had any of the toner left um, that I could purchase from her so that I could take it to the hospital with me because I thought if I needed to like relax a little bit that maybe I could just you know, either smell from the bottle or like rub some on my face just to have that smell right there be like comforting. And she's so sweet. She brought this to me and um, she gave me, you know, what was left in it, which was just a little, which is fabulous. That's all I needed. I just wanted to be able to have the smell. And then when the time came, I completely forgot that I had these with me and didn't use it. But this last month, I remembered that there were some in here and I've been using the rose water toner after I clean my face at night and I love it. It is just... Um, it smells so good. It's so relaxing to me. So to put that on, especially right before bed, I just love having that smell um, right there. And then it's also, it works great as a toner to me. I think I've been having a lot of like skin issues lately. And um, when I've used this, it's actually helped my complexion quite a bit. Um, so yeah, this is fantastic. Take a look. I think they have a website. I think it's, well, I know they have a website. I believe it's NYR Organics. Um, there's, uh, I believe you're able to find local representatives in your area to purchase um, products from, or um, I could maybe, if I can check with Misha and see if she wants me to put her information down below in case you have any questions for her or want to order through her. But this stuff is fabulous. They have all sorts of stuff. They've got toners, moisturizers, cleansers, deodorants, makeup, um, men's skincare line, all sorts of stuff. It's fantastic. Go take a look at it. And then the non-makeup products that I have, um, my husband has been doing reviews on Amazon and people have been sending him things to just try and review and it's all very random. And they had sent us, I have a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Sorry. Um, they had sent him this adorable cute cat mug. Um, and I love mugs, I love collecting mugs. And I thought this was just adorable. I'm actually more of a dog person than a cat person, but this is just too cute. I love it. And then after he did the review a couple weeks later, he sent this one. And these just make me so happy. They're so cute and just cozy and sweet and I love them. So I love to drink my tea out of that. And then the very last thing that I wanted to mention is um, Friends on Netflix. I know it's been out on Netflix for a while, but I didn't actually start watching it um, until just a couple months ago and I meant to mention it in my, what was it, February favorites, February or March? I don't, I don't know when my last favorites was, which was my very first favorite, favorites uh, video. I meant to mention it then and I haven't, I, or I forgot to, I can't talk, sorry. So I wanted to mention that I love Friends, I love that it's on Netflix and I have been like 
binge watching it when I can. And it just makes me so happy. And I don't think I will ever, ever be sick of that show ever. I love it. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. I don't know where you've been, but if you have seen it, go start it from the beginning. Cause you forget how funny it is. Um, and there's episodes that you kind of forget about. Um, it's, it's just a great show. So go check it out. But anyways, that's, those were my favorites for the month of May, but also April. Um, if you have any questions on any of these products, let me know. Otherwise I will just see you in the next video. Oh, and I wanted to mention too that I actually just filmed a tutorial on this eye makeup look that I am wearing today. So um, stay tuned for that. I'm pretty sure I'll be posting my favorites video first and then the tutorial on the makeup look that I have here. Um, there's a good chance that I might put up the makeup look first, but um, if you haven't seen the makeup look yet, it is coming. So wait for it. Have a good day, guys. Bye.